They call it the American Dream City. What's behind that? Today we're going to explore everything Arlington, Texas. Wedged perfectly between Dallas and Fort Worth, Arlington, it has a personality of its own. Maybe best known for the towering AT&T Stadium where the Dallas Cowboys play, or Six Flags over Texas. And Arlington has a lot to offer and a lower price point when it comes to housing versus other DFW suburbs. Arlington, it's a large suburb with a population of over 390,000 people and it covers almost 100 square miles. It's about 25 minutes to get to either downtown Dallas or downtown Fort Worth, so it's very much a more urban setting than say Frisco or Keller. And bonus, it's only 20 minutes from the DFW International Airport, which makes it a great location. The average income here is at about $80,000. Let's talk about the lifestyle of Arlington, Texas. If you like sports, concerts, amusement parks, Arlington has it all, and it's super close to Dallas and Fort Worth for other large attractions. It's home to America's team, the Dallas Cowboys, and they play at this massive AT&T Stadium which towers over this part of Dallas, Fort Worth. It has a huge retractable roof and it can hold 100,000 people. Listen, it cost over a billion dollars to build. The stadium also hosts the Cotton Bowl, Big 12 Championship, concerts, and even rodeos. Yes, they bring in dirt to fill up this beautiful field. Listen, you can tour this facility, and Brandon and I did this, and you can see the Cowboys or the cheerleaders locker room and all the behind the scenes of the stadium. And just down the street is Globe Life Park, home to the Texas Rangers baseball team, doing really well this year, I might add. And it has a retractable roof as well with air conditioning to make games bearable in the hot summers. Because listen, before that came along, whoo, we'd go see a Ranger game and it was steamy. <laughs> the old ballpark nearby is now called Choctaw Park and it's been retrofitted for soccer and arena football, among other events. So much is going on in this small Arlington area. And fans love Texas Live. It's a beautiful new facility and a unique attraction that combines entertainment, restaurants, accommodations, all into one exciting destination. And it's nestled between these three legendary arenas. This is what Arlington, Texas is known for. Also in Arlington is Six Flags Over Texas. Now listen, I grew up going to Six Flags Over Texas. My kids have been there a few times, probably not as much as I did as a kid. Uh, but if you love amusement parks, there's one right here in Arlington. Also, right across the street is Hurricane Harbor, which is a water park. And if football and baseball weren't enough, they even have an international bowling museum and Hall of Fame. Oh, and by the way, my name is Dana Pollard and I've lived in Texas since I was four years old. And I'm on the hunt to discover the best cities to live in Texas. So if you are looking for your dream home in Texas and you need help narrowing down where to live in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex or even Houston, Austin, or San Antonio, we have a team of specialists that can help you out. So fill out the dream home questionnaire in the link below to get started and schedule your one-on-one -on -one Zoom consultation. This whole area is so unique and I tell you what, it has so many entertainment options. If that is your hot button, entertainment or proximity location in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, Arlington could be your city. All right, so Arlington did do a pretty good job with infrastructure and the roadway system, but it can get backed up uh, at rush hour or when these events are coming and going, especially if they have two events going on at once, kind of like, you know, the Cowboys game and a live concert at the same time. Now, further south off Interstate 20 is the Parks Mall. This is a huge mall development along with numerous chain restaurants. Also, Arlington has a handful of movie theaters as well. And of course, with the size of Arlington, 
Arlington has plenty of grocery stores as well. All right, I love the outdoors. So let's talk about what Arlington has to offer. Arlington has more than 80 parks, playgrounds, and trails, but one stands above the rest, River Legacy Park. This is the crown jewel of Arlington's park system. It's located along the banks of the Trinity River in the northwestern section of Arlington. This park is over a thousand acres with a lot of forest and it's in a floodplain, which means it will never be built upon. I'm at River Legacy Park here in Arlington, Texas, and it is gorgeous here. There are miles of hiking and biking trails as well as a paddle trail. So right here you can bring your kayaks out, your paddleboard, which is one of my favorite pastimes, and uh, create a loop around on the Trinity River here. This park is well maintained and the bike and hiking trails are amazing. And there's plenty of parking as well. Other parks have great playgrounds and ball fields for kids as well. This part of Arlington is very green, beautiful. There's some hills with meandering streams. You have ponds and some small lakes. And if you want a bigger body of water, southeast of Arlington has Joe Pool Lake. Joe Pool has more than 60 miles of shoreline and it's a newer lake that opened up in 1989. It's great for fishing, skiing, relaxing, and recreational boating. There are several nice beaches, campgrounds, parks, hiking and biking trails, kayaking trails, and other outdoor activities. So outside of all the sports and concerts, Arlington is also known for something very special. The Interlochen neighborhood takes Christmas very seriously. Interlochen Christmas lights is a 40 year holiday tradition. It is an extravaganza that attracts thousands of families to cruise through Arlington every December, providing miles of smiles to kids of all ages. And more than 200 homeowners participate and admission is free. Now let's talk about housing, my favorite subject. <laughs> Arlington has so much to offer. There are condos, very inexpensive, uh, townhomes, single family homes, luxury homes, uh, you have estates, you have even trailer homes. You can find just about anything in Arlington. If you love hills and beautiful mature trees, Arlington could be one of the spots in Dallas-Fort Worth that you would enjoy. Prices in Arlington go from 200,000 uh, for a fixer-upper, might I add, all the way up to 2.4 million. And the median home price is $320,000. Homes stay on the market for about 35 days here in Arlington, Texas. The home ownership rate in Arlington is at 55.7%, and so you do have many renters, both in apartments as well as homes here in Arlington. So we visited what we call the Christmas neighborhood uh, during the springtime just last week, and it was beautiful. Guys, I think I changed my mind on really wanting newer homes because these homes were so gorgeous and the trees and the hills were so beautiful. I'll, I'll take the older homes for this neighborhood. Interlochen Estates is about four miles from downtown Arlington and 23 miles from downtown Dallas. It's comprised of diverse architectural styles of single family homes on beautifully wooded lots. And the homes here were built anywhere from 1973 to 1980. So the main lake here is Village Creek Lake, but there's also canals and a little creek that winds and twists its way through most of the community, and it gives many of the homeowners backyard views of the water. Now listen, if you want a home in this neighborhood, it's a good choice of a neighborhood because they definitely hold their value. Now, if you are looking for something a little newer than just north of Interlocking is a new master planned community one of my favorite in the Metroplex, and it's called Viridian. Next week, I'm gonna have a whole video highlighting Viridian, so don't miss that. With 500 acres of open space, even though you're in the middle of two major 
cities, you feel like you're in an oasis. So the 2000 acre community features an array of attractive amenities, including 600 acres of open green space, a lake club with multiple pools and sports courts, and a sailing center for sailboats and paddle sports. And even non-residents can use the sailing center for a fee, which I thought was pretty cool. Let's talk about schools in Arlington, Texas. Now, Arlington residents, if you have the city of Arlington, you can be zoned to different school districts. You could be zoned to Arlington ISD, Mansfield ISD, or even HEB, Hearst Euless Bedford ISD, which is what Viridian is zoned to. The largest is Arlington ISD, serving about 56,000 students, and it has 11 high schools. If public schools are important to you, just make sure you check with your real estate agent to see what schools are zoned for a home that you may be interested in. In fact, we can run a search with the public schools that you are interested in and get those homes sent right to your email. Arlington does have a few private schools with Oak Ridge being one of the biggest and most popular in Arlington. About 800 students attend that school. Also, you can find many homeschool options and meetups and groups that you could join. As for higher education, Arlington is home to the University of Texas at Arlington. And with an enrollment of 41,000 students and 180 degree programs. Arlington also has a branch of Tarrant County College, which offers two year associate degrees. The largest employers in Arlington are the Arlington School District, UTA, General Motors, Automotive Assembly Plant, and Texas Health Resources. The GM plant makes large SUVs like Chevy Suburban, Tahoe, and Cadillac Escalade. And if you want a job in Dallas or Fort Worth, Arlington is a great place to be because it's right in the middle for easy access. And talking about healthcare, Arlington is also a great place because not only do you have hospitals and many things available in Arlington, but Dallas and Fort Worth are very close by. Moving on to the cost of living in Arlington, Texas. Now, all of this Dallas Fort Worth area has pretty much about the same cost of living, but let's take a look. Gas was $3.05 a gallon when we shot this video. As for utilities, Texans get to choose their providers and they do have different rates and plans. Natural gas, it's provided by Atmos Energy. And all of that is going to be dependent on what year your house was built, how big your house is, lots of different factors. Water and trash is provided by the city of Arlington and their rates are listed on the website. Let's talk about traffic. We did mention it a little bit earlier, uh, but some of the main thoroughfares can get a little busy. Let me just say Cooper Street. And it's not even just during rush hours. It gets pretty backed up quite often. And during rush hour or a game, Highway 20 or 30 can get backed up as well. And with a walkability score of 38 out of 100, you definitely need a car if you're going to be living in Arlington. Let's talk about the pros and cons of living in Arlington, Texas. I would say let's talk about the cons first, and I would say it's the traffic. Now, my sister-in-law lives in Arlington, Texas, and every time I go to visit her, I complain about traffic. And every time she comes to visit me, she complains about traffic, meaning there's just different pockets of the Metroplex that have traffic. <laughs> but yes, there's definitely some traffic congestion um, in the main city areas. Also, what I would say a con would be is most of the homes, what well, depends on you, right? Uh, most of the homes are older. So if you want a newer home, the con would be most of the homes were built in the 70s and 80s with just a handful of new communities like Viridian. There's a DR Horton neighborhood. Um, but if that's your hot button as a new home, Arlington may not be it. The pros of Arlington is number one, so many things to do. If you love entertainment, you will never get bored in Arlington, Texas. I love that it's a lower price point. So if you are looking for a lower cost of living, housing is a lot less expensive in Arlington. 
And my favorite thing about Arlington is the location between Dallas and Fort Worth. So both for commute, if you have to commute, as well as the activities that are available. Also, especially in the northern part of Arlington, which is my favorite part of Arlington. So talk with your agent about the northern part because it has some beautiful trees mm, and some hills in Arlington, Texas. So if you want more information about Arlington, Texas or the other Dallas Fort Worth suburbs, fill out the dream home questionnaire in the link below and we can have a chat about the best places to live or helping you find a home here in Texas. Again, fill out the dream home questionnaire in the link below and I'll see you on our next video about Viridian.